Welcome to Good Libations, our show about mixology. And we have done several episodes that deal with Brazil and with Cachaça. Now we're going to go back to North America and deal with something that's basically close to our own shores. And we're going to deal with drinks or a drink based on tequila. And of course, drinks based on tequila are absolutely ubiquitous. It's not exotic unless it's really, really top level. And of course, top level tequila is like any top level liquor should be drank either neat or over ice. They should be drank straight and not blended with other things. It's not necessary. It's better to use a more modest tequila if you're going to make cocktails based on it or, you know, tall drinks based on it. And one drink that has been around for a very, very long time and almost became a cliche in the 60s is a, a tequila sunrise. And of course your typical sunrise is made, by, made with tequila over ice, the addition of grenadine and orange juice. But I want to take things a different direction and a bit higher up. This is a muddled tequila sunrise, meaning that we're actually going to use fresh orange that we're going to muddle in the tequila itself. And as a muddling medium, we're going to use a shaker, even though this is a drink that we're actually going to dispense into the tall tropical drink glass. But it's so much better when you take the time to do that because again, you're getting the infusion of the peel. You're not getting the sickly overtone of your typical orange juice, even the so-called, you know, fresh squeeze ones. And you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on a very expensive tequila. You can get a modest one. It works just as good because what you would obliterate in a good tequila, it doesn't matter in a more modestly priced tequila. So we're going to make our muddled sunrise. And what we're going to do first is we're going to, as we should, add the tequila. And one thing that I mentioned about cachaça, very, very hard to make comparisons, but if you were to compare it with anything, tequila would definitely be it. The overtones and flavors of cachaça are somewhat similar to tequila. And if you can imagine taking the bubbles again out of uh, champagne, if you combine that champagne with the tequila, it's kind of what cachaça tastes like, or an approximation anyway. But this is from our North American Shores, a tequila-based drink, a muddled sunrise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut up some orange. And we're going to, you know, get it in such a fashion that we can actually muddle it within the cocktail shaker. So I'm going to use my dull knife again. And we're initially going to probably cut the orange in eighths, half and then in eighths, or some approximation of such. And we're going to squeeze it into the tequila. So we get the oil from the peel. And of course when we muddle it, that's going to add further character of the oil into the tequila itself. So we're going to leave those spent shells and some of the pulp in the tequila. And then we're, we're going we're gonna to squeeze more juice in. And just to be different and unique, we're going to add a little pineapple. How about that? Make it a little bit different. And just a little bit of pineapple because yeah, you can make a sunrise with pineapple juice, but we don't, we're not making a pineapple sunrise. We are making the typical one, but we're going to do some muddling here. So I'm going to go ahead and muddle this up with a wooden spoon, the cheap muddler, that you could easily access in any kitchen because people always have wooden spoons, especially people from the 40s, 50s, 60s. So we're going to muddle that up. 
I'm going to make sure it smells like it has sufficient orange in it. And this is going to produce a tequila sunrise that has a very different character and would definitely be a highlight of like a barbecue, an outdoor party of some sort. It's a great drink for summertime. And of course, one thing that is always added to a tequila sunrise is grenadine. Now, today a lot of people are making their own herbal infusions. A lot of people are making their own grenadine. And that's a nice thing to do because you're going to get a superior product. But I just got the original grenadine syrup. Because again, grenadine adds a certain character and flavor to a drink and most of all it adds a beautiful burst of color to it. And the orange and the red, you know, of course that's the name Tequila Sunrise. And again, this is a drink that pretty much went into mediocrity and oblivion. But we're going to resurrect it because we've made it a little bit different. And I'm going to go ahead and put the ice in the glass now. And then I'm going to go ahead and shake the ingredients, even though this is not per se a shaken cocktail. But I want to make sure that the ingredients blend well and that we're not just dumping it into the glass. I'm going to make sure I get enough ice in it because when I made one of the cachaça drinks, I didn't put quite enough ice in it. But that's okay. So we're going to go ahead, kind of blend the ingredients a little bit in the shaker, and then we're going to disperse it into the glass. And again, I did not add ice because the idea is just to get the ingredients kind of blended together here. And this is one of the things I just love about cocktail shakers is when they start sticking together, which they will do with frequency. And especially when they get cold, they really stick together. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this into the glass. And I can smell the orange. And I can smell the grenadine syrup and, of course, most of all, the tequila. That's what we want to really smell. And I'm going to put a bit more ice into it. And then we're going to do a little bit of a garnish. Not much of a garnish, but a little bit of a garnish. Just to finish off the cocktail. And of course, most appropriately, we can use a little bit of orange. And you could use a, you know, bit of a wheel if you want. Squeeze it to get the infusion from the peel. And I think that should pretty much finish it off. And of course, the ultimate thing is how is this going to taste, being that we're not using orange juice. And the idea is to get a bit tartar drink, less sweet, less sickly, less stereotypical from the past. So let's give it a try and see if it turned out good. Oh, yes. I would say very superior, very different from your typical tequila sunrise. And you can vary the amount of grenadine. I don't like it to be overwhelming, over, overwhelmingly flavored with grenadine. Just enough. The orange in the tequila should be what stands out with this particular tall drink. Truly a Mexican highball. That actually turned out quite good. And another tip, too, if you use Valencia oranges, you'll get an even tartar flavor than if you use the navel orange, if that's what you're after. And I prefer the drier tartar drinks myself, so if that's the direction that you like to go also, that's the way to go. So, a nice drink to have with your backyard barbecues, and we have at least two more months of heat, so we'll have plenty of those. And I want to thank you again to, for tuning in to Good Libations, our adventures in cocktails. I'm Ethel Andrews, a mixologist. And give these drinks a try. It is proof that none of these drinks are out of reach. Anyone can make good drinks if you go to the bother of using fresh ingredients. And again, let's keep our community safe and well-spoken of by not driving impaired. Thank you again.